So on this, whatever foot makes up forward, that's the foot I need to be matching with these. It's not like the knee pulls where we can kind of switch it up. We really need this lead foot feet to be matching. From here, I'm hitting a level change. And I think about it like a cobra strike with our arm. Level change, boom, quick. Okay, my forearm is going right on the outside of this foot. My hand is clicking the back of his heel. My forearm's flat on the mat here. I've got this secured right here. If Nate tries to lift this foot up or try to back it up, I've got control of it. You know, I own this ankle right now. Our head is on the inside of his knee. Not on the kneecap, but right here, way inside, uh, right there between the kneecap and the side of his knee. Okay, from here, driving in, I'm using this free hand to collapse his other hip, and I'm circling. Boom. Looking to take him down off this. And that's up. He's got that lead foot forward. Now we're ahead. I'm level changing. Think about a cobra strike. Fast and quick. Boom. Okay. My head is up. Looking into his knee. My forearm is flat on the mat. Hand hooking the heel. Okay. Notice. I don't have my knees together here. You know. Right, I still have to drive leg with my right leg back. Okay, we're looking in, driving into that knee, using his free hand to circle and collapse his hip. Let him know what doing. Okay, really, really easy to right there. Now, like our coach said, it is a quick shot. You know, it may be us in here wrestling. Now, I notice Nate has that left, I mean, that right foot lead. So I start leading with my left. There's a level change, boom, straight into it. Hand clicking the heel, forearm flat on the mat here, head looking up, looking into his knee. Hook, head right here to the side of his knee. Okay, looking up. I can see coach right here. So I'm looking down at the mat, it's bad position, making just start stuffing that head down from here. I'm looking up, I'm pushing and collapsing this knee over, using our free hand to collapse the hip. Circle. You guys got it? All right, let's get there. One, two. I don't always be this pretty. Yeah, this is, whenever we're in here, what we're looking for is this touch or go and this quick two level change, hit it, circle, 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 easy takedown. Okay, ideally, that's what we're going for. Sometimes, you're gonna get that head in too deep, and it happens. You know, we're gonna be in here, we're gonna get some separation, full level change and go, and instead of our head coming into the knee, we're going to shoot in a little bit, okay? From here, we start getting into our submarine position. We've had a few of y'all get into this position with your head in too deep, and it's like a deer in the headlights. We don't know what's going on. We don't know how to finish it. We don't really know what's, what we're doing, okay? We touch and go, whatever it is. We're getting to this low single. My head's going too deep. Typically, Nate is going to start going over top of it and starting to get either look for a lock or just drape the hand just drape over the top of it. Okay, he's gonna just start draping. From here, for submarine. I'm posting my hand into the mat. I'm coming up with it. Okay? From here, I'm sitting, sitting on my ankles, and I'm gonna pick one of these legs to attack. Okay? I can either attack the left side and pull, or I can attack the right side and pull. Okay, whenever we're doing this, we got his legs hooked. We're going over top to the ankle. We're sitting and falling to this hip. Pulling his leg down and across. Pulling his leg down and across. Sitting to this hip here. Okay, from here, we're straightening his leg. Stepping over. And we're going to go straight into our leg turk here. Elevating for some back. So, I'm getting in on this low single. My head's going too deep. Boom. Deep Nate's draping over me. And I'm elevating. Sitting on my ankles and getting high right here. Okay? Let me sit on that little bit. Okay? From here, we're picking the side. Over top on one. Coming through, hooking at the ankle. We're pulling it down and across. 
and sit into this hip. Down and crawl, sit into this hip. Okay, circle a little bit. A lot of the times, this guy's gonna be trying to pinch. He's gonna be trying to stay in here tight with you. Okay, we gotta straighten this leg. Big step, looking to pop our head out. I'm going into this leg turk here. I'm keeping the leg hooked after I step into it. I'm elevating, elevating, elevating. Get the push back to this. You guys got it? Let's see it again. Yeah. So, uh, sorry guys. We choked up for some reason. The level change. I'm getting in on this low single. Okay, let's go on two feet. Okay. Next, let's go over the top. We're elevating. Sitting on our ankles here. We're pulling, going through and hooking on, the, on, the, on an ankle. We're pulling down and across. Sitting to the side and hip. Down and across. Sitting to this hip. Okay, we're staying tight right here. We're looking to straighten Nate's leg. Big step over. Pop your head out. Okay, for now, let's just pop the head out and be looking for just to hold them on the back there. All right, let's get there. One, two. First single defense right now. Uh, one of the most easy, very basic one is make level changes and he gets in on the slow single. Okay, he's got my heel hook. He's got his head to my knee. He's looking to eventually start circling and flat. Okay, first off, we're gonna try to stay strong here with this leg. I'm gonna try to fight it in to his head. Okay, I want to take my knee, get heavy, okay? I'm not coming in here, just throwing the knee and neck to the shoulder or anything like that. But I'm looking to get heavy with this foot. And I'm putting my weight on top of Nate. Start to almost sit on him with my knee. From here, start to work this leg back. Start strong. Go behind, uh, anything else out in front of Nate. So, basically on this low single, as soon as he gets in, you got to be pressure in and down with this knee. Okay, I've got a lot of weight and a lot of pressure right in the middle of the back of my knee. And they try to lift up. You know, it's a struggle from here. Okay, I, I can still wrestle. So I've got this weight into him. I've got this weight into him. I'm looking to get this foot back in the way. Like our straws, our go behind, stuff like that. Y'all got it? All right, get there. One, two, three, four. And instead of trying to sprawl, whatever it is, it just seems like they're circling and we're just giving up the take down. You know, it's not even like we're trying to hip into them. It's not like we're trying to drag them up. It's not even like we're trying to sprawl sometimes. You know, if this guy's getting in on a good shot, a lot of us are just giving them the takedown. You gotta learn to be a lot stingier in this position. So the first thing we're going to hit is our wizard, which is our strong. So next shoot to sweep. This hand, same side as sweep. I'm going down his arm, and I'm almost hooking around his ribs right here, okay? I'm throwing my hip and sprawling at the same time. So I'm down, I'm hipping in, sprawling. Okay, I'm making it really heavy for you here. Okay, Nate, is that comfortable here? Mm -hmm. Okay. From here, circle. Okay, or if he's on the mat, same thing, exact thing. Going down, we're just punching this here. His free hand, <clears throat> stuff in his head. We're looking to square here. Okay, square, so posting the hips. I'll go behind the stuff. Okay, he makes in, he takes his sweep. This hand, shooting down. By his armpit, kind of hooking on his ribs, hooking right here on his lat. Throw this hip and start to scroll my hips. Okay, the head right here. Make sure starts trying to build back up. We're staying pressured in. Now I've hipped into him this whole time. Stuffing this head, big square, posting the hips. Look, these go behinds. Okay. I think we showed you a time or two, but that's a wizard defense. You guys gotta, gotta fight from all these positions. You know, don't get anything so easy. Make it a battle and time that, that whistle blows and you don't have to get on your leg. 
They're on top of it, they're on bottom. Uh, it's bad as it Let's get it. Where's your defense? One, two. So, it's a on a spike. Okay, it's a great little move. Um, a lot of easy pins come off of it, but if, if you don't fight on bottom, then we're going to get you really fast. Okay, first thing we're doing, you're on top. I'm looking to start I'm thumping his wrist right here. I'm pushing in and I'm thumping either here or I'm pushing in and securing the wrist here. Okay, I'm looking to get wrist control. From here, I'm hopping sides. Just like with our hat, I'm scooping up at the elbow and I'm volleyball spiking straight down on his head right here. Okay, you heard the pop I gave Jackson there. Now I'm not just laying it up here and being gentle. We're in here, up to the side, big lift at the elbow, volleyball spike, straight on. Okay, turn on it. From here, this is the most important thing. My inside knee is going right here beside his ear. Okay, if he catches the knee to the face, so be it. We'll put him to his back still. Okay, we're bringing this inside knee in to his ear, keeping this arm straight, just driving him over off them. Okay, looking to get a pin. We're lifting the head this whole time. Thank you, Master Jackson. Is that comfortable? Yeah, it's all about making this bottom man as uncomfortable as can be. So we're here on top, almost hitting like we're doing a little spiral right here. Catching the wrist, right here. We're jumping sides. We're lifting big at the elbow, straight on volleyball spike. Up, big straight arm volleyball spike. Notice, I'm not on his neck. If I'm on his neck here, he can fight this arm down. Maybe he can fight his head up. I need to be right here on the crown of his head. I'm lifting, I've got this wrist, I'm lifting. Spike straight down on the crown of his head. Straight arm, we're throwing this inside knee to his ear, to his nose, whichever one. Okay, keeping this straight, just driving him over the front. Okay, we're going to stack them right up and put them to the back there. Now I can't. All right, you guys got it? All right, let's get there. One, two. We're going to open in a lot of different positions. And it doesn't just have to be right off the whistle, us catching the wrist. You know, it can be us tight waist chopping. You know, we got this wrist control. He starts coming up. I've got this wrist caught. I'm hopping side, bang, same thing. Spike the head. Stuck to the over the top. Uh, so right now, what I want y'all to do is one partner's flat. Gotta do flat. One partner's flat. We're on top, controlling the wrist. Okay. Partner starts facing up. As soon as they get faced up, it's starting to come up. Big lift, spike, throwing that knee in. Okay. So Nate's on top. Nate's got some sort of wrist control. I'm starting to build my base up. As soon as I'm building up, he's big lift, big lift at my elbow. Big hop, yeah, straight on. And throwing that knee in. Boom. You guys got it? All right, let's get there. One, two. Uh, so off this foul ride, whatever side I'm spiraling to, I'm looking to bump underneath this arm. Uh, the hand that's on the belly button is going in five. Bumping, rubbing my feet, rubbing my feet. Always looking at it. Always looking to secure this wrist, at this wrist. Okay, once I get control of this wrist, I'm gonna keep driving into it. I'm gonna keep walking my hips. I'm gonna keep walking my hips out so I can pop this arm out. I'm looking to go into my arm hammer. I'm taking my, his arm from here to the back pocket and cover it, getting heavy, okay? I'm pushing this down and across so we get this shoulder work here. Okay, the first thing we can do is I've got heavy pressure on to it. I'm taking this free head using my elbow to the other side of his face and scooping his head. Scooping his head. Now, Nate can tell you, is that comfortable? Okay, using this elbow, scooping this head. So we go underneath. Okay, we can either 
Go into a cowboy. We're punching this arm through. Big lift. We're gonna put him away right here. And you put a lot of pressure on this dude's neck. Uh, and you can say it's almost like a legal choke right here. So you can make this very, very uncomfortable for this guy. Nate's in base. We're hitting this foul rod to the wrist. Boom. Keep circling, keep circling. Pull it out. Push it across with his arm hand. Stand heavy right here. Okay. Nate, have I released any pressure from the get go? Oh. I'm keeping this heavy pressure. I'm taking this elbow. Taking the scoop. His head, scoop his head, scoop his head. Hook. Punching this cowboy here. Oh, lifting up on his head right here. We're going to put a lot of pressure right here. And slowly start to take your time looking for that kick. Right. I'm pulling him in and lifting his head up. Notice his head is completely off the mat right now Whenever, by the time I've got them lifted. So whenever I'm scooping, I can get a big elevation right here if I want to. This puts a lot of pressure on Nate's neck and head. And by the time we're punching this through, he's already asking to be pinned. Slowly taking our time with it. Yeah. Just a quick add right here. Go ahead, elbow. All right, you got the head scooped. You got what you want. A lot of times, I've seen a lot of guys, they'll let go of this arm, and he'll go underneath your arm, okay? So when you let go, you might come back Nate. When you let go, you're going to slip underneath immediately. Okay, you don't want a big open space. And when you punch through, you're going to punch on an angle here. Okay? Because that's where he's going. Right? Especially if you're slipping underneath. If I, if I just let go and I don't have good tight pressure like Coach does, and sometimes it's not perfect there. Alright? And I let go of that arm and I try to wind up the punch, a lot of times they'll slip underneath you and they'll start bailing you down. Especially if you don't get him loaded up on your knee. So when you let go of that, you're slipping underneath the arm. Not a lot of space, there's not a lot of distance. If you're real quick, you're underneath, and then you're gonna punch at an angle. It's really a, it's a hard reach across, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, too many people will let go, let go of the arm completely, and they'll try to just wind that up, and they'll slip underneath it, okay? And that feels a little bit All right, All right big matches coming up. Big weeks coming up. Last physical postseason. All right, time to lock in. Anything else that we need to say? All right, we're ready now. Hey, what's the weight now? All right, we're gonna get family on me, family on three. Ready? One, two, three. Family!